combining two amps with different characters, for example a Mesa Boogie and a Marshall or a Fender and a Vox, will in most cases create a fuller and more complex guitar tone. But why is that? Our favorite amps usually have a thing that they are really good at. A specific thing that makes you say that is a Vox because you recognize the chime that Voxes are known for. When you let one amp do its thing and you can let another amp do another thing, you don't have to worry about one amp doing all the work. Most amps uh, can't do everything perfectly and ideally you would want to avoid compromises. So let's say we use a Fender amp because we love that spongy feel and how it emphasizes the highs and the lows. We set that amp to perform as good as possible and to only focus on what it is, a Fender amp. That probably sounds good, but what if we miss something? Something in the mid-range or the upper mid-range? Well, then let's add a Vox and let that amp do the mid-range work. Those two amps together will create a guitar super amp, a guitar samp, if you like, with rich complex guitar tones, uh, no matter if you use them in mono or in a spread out stereo rig. So let's demonstrate that first with some clean sounds, Fender tones first, in my case that's a Tone King Sky King with great Fender-like tones, then the same performance with a Vox style amp, in my case that's a Victory Copper Deluxe, then I will combine those two sounds and I will adjust for any volume difference so the comparison will be fair. Everything will be placed in the center, no stereo panning at this point. difference and you have a favorite please let me know down in the comment section let's try that with some gain added and with my cleans my combined fender vox tone was a 50 50 blend but when i add some gain i usually prefer to have the fender a bit louder than the box <laughs> And let's do another experiment. One thing is to combine two amps for one sound, but using two different amps when recording guitars for a song is very common. You have like one sound there and one on the other side, but why do we do that? 
if you dial in very similar sounds on both sides, that will in most uh, cases make your mix sound more narrow than if you use complementary sounds on each side. One thing here isn't necessarily better than the other, it's also down to preference. But for example with Metallica, their sound is more narrow, but it's also more focused than for example Guns N' Roses. James Hetfield records all the rhythm parts for Metallica with a sound that is fairly similar on both sides. Guns N' Roses on the other hand recorded uh, the rhythm tracks with two different guitar players using different gear on each side and those songs sounds wider and bigger to me. Not necessarily better than the Metallica ones because they also sound more focused. Okay let's demonstrate that quickly by recording a silly little song. First you will hear a passage of that song with the, the same guitar sound on both sides. Then I will re-record the second guitar with a different sound. Notice how the mix sort of opens up. If you can't afford to have two different amps to do this, try to shape your second guitar different from the first guitar that you recorded, either by changing the EQ settings on your amp or using a EQ pedal in front of that amp. Try to record that second guitar with different gain and EQ characters to see what complements the first guitar better. You might need to experiment a bit here. So what if there was an amp that had two sets of circuits in the same amp and two different speakers and you could run those two circuits in parallel and you had a mix knob? That would be quite cool. That would be my guitar samp. Just an idea for all the amp manufacturers out there. Maybe that's a thing already. Thank you for watching. YouTube is probably recommending a video for you right here. Please check that one out as well. Goodbye.